Uh, I first heard of this place because it was on YouTube a lot for spoken poetry, and now I'm going to pour my heart out to a bunch of comedians. So. <laughs> and you guys are confused now because I'm making you laugh, and I took a gray box, not one of the other ones. So um, you can take a break from the sympathetic laughter on this one. <clears throat> the sun, a box, and a stone. At first, you were just the sun, and I, Icarus. As I stood on the earth, I praised your warmth. I longed for your shine, craved it when the clouds hid you from me. Being on the land, I could not get close enough. So, one day, with fragile wings made of wax, I flew towards you. Drawn in by your warmth, the blazing passion of you, but then melted by your heat and the rage of blazing rays. I fell to the earth, only to drown in the water. The water so vast, you never could keep it warm enough. At first, you were just a box, and I, Schrodinger. I contemplated the nature of you. Before I opened you, you were both good and bad, but when I opened the box, what I saw inside was not alive nor dead, it was chaos. Simultaneously, we had the best and worst relationship. It was then I realized this was not a question of quantum physics, and I was not Schrodinger, but Pandora. I opened the box and out came all the evils of our relationship. Fighting, unkind words, misunderstandings, jealousy, insecurities, miscommunications, so I slammed the box shut. But it was too late, and all the evils could not be taken back. It was then I realized that this was no longer a question of mysticism, but quantum physics for there was something remaining in the box. I could hear it rattling around. And what was inside was both bad and good, and so I peeked very carefully. I opened the box, and what was in there was hope. And I don't know if I can let it out. I don't know if I can, for if I do, maybe it could save me. Maybe it could tell me that someday you will forgive me. Maybe it could coat my heart and protect me from my guilt, or maybe it would twist and turn my insides until they formed a hole that only you can fill. At first, you were just a gemstone, and I, Atlas, a shiny crystal that caught my eye, I picked you up and carried you around with me, showing you off to anyone who would see, sitting, staring, and wandering at the beauty of you. But over time, you collected all the evils from the box. You grew so big in size that you were no longer a gem, but just a stone. A stone that would no longer fit in my pocket. So I carried you on my back, and I cannot put you down, for I keep believing in the gem that's deep inside. I cannot put you down, for if I do, what if gravity can't hold me down anymore? And I float into outer space. I float too close to the sun and my wings will melt, and once again, I will fall to my death. 